Hello and how are you? My name is Mahindo Mubarak and I will come you to our 41st uh, lecture of creating a complete inventory management system as you know. We always do 40 minutes so I'll go and start our timer then we do our business as usual. So as you can see I've already launched our application. So in the previous lecture we managed to master this uh, what? We managed to master the stock uh stock records page where you were able to create the filters and all that and even creating the single page screen where you can even be able to edit it record from there all right so that's what we did in the previous lecture so in this lecture we're going to do what we're going to proceed from there and do the mastering of of what of uh and do the mastering of the products or the stock items okay the products or the stock items so let's go ahead and do the business as you know all right so we're going to go to the product screen and then we're going to begin by creating the pro a single product page screen so let's go ahead and do so let's go ahead and do so or maybe one more thing that we forgot one more thing that we forgot here it would be good if we are also able to see filter by a product because or filter by stock item because that is very important you may need to see how a certain item was spent and or how it was distributed or maybe a certain stock by was distributed filter by stock item i think that is very important filter that we need that we have to put in fact we cannot escape it because someone will need to see I purchased this stock how did it go how was it how did it fare so that filter will need to be added there but let's i don't know whether should add it now okay let us add it later let us first finish the other one and then she'll come back for it okay so let's go ahead let's go ahead and and do what and do the and do the products what uh, the products page uh single page screen okay the single product a single stock item screen Right, so, so it's going to be much more like that of a single stock item okay i mean single stock record okay so let's go ahead and duplicate that and copy the stock record details screen let's go ahead and copy the stock detail record details screen and paste it in the what in the stock item screen so i'm going to come here and say stock item details okay and press enter and then come here and press control f out and enter and it's going to be stock item details screen so it will be receiving stock item model that's what we'll be receiving so let us fix where we don't we see some errors let me first remove this okay let's go ahead and fix where we see some errors so i'm going to remove this for example type we can remove everything in fact all right let's remove this uh quantity we can some we can put here maybe original what original quantity something like that and then you have for example total sales can put maybe current quantity and maybe profit or loss we can remove that one we can come back for it okay so that's it that's it uh yeah. do you have any other error here this one for editing when you want to edit so this one will go to what to talk item create screen that's where it will go and i think now everything is okay here apart from this measurement you don't have it so i can remove that variable there okay so that is it now we're going to redirect like how when someone clicks on this item when someone clicks on this stock item uh it should take us to this okay so let's go ahead and do that so let's go ahead and so go to stock item okay okay stock items here okay the stock items screen and then you go to where there is on top okay so if it is not picker so you have to check it to speaker it returns from there if it is not picker we want to navigate to that screen which will be go to stock item details screen we import it and then we pass there the stock item okay the stock item there 
all right so let's save and then you see so when i click here i should be able to see <coughs> the stock item so it should not be details be stock item details should not be recorded okay stock item details all right let's go ahead and copy let's go ahead and copy the variables and we determine which variables we're going to use uh so let me go ahead and copy these variables and determine we determine we determine which variables are going to use and how we're going to arrange them so i'm going to come here create a comment and then in this comment in this comment i'll go ahead and paste the variables that i want to fill in there so let's uh, start organizing them the id this is already taken already used there the that the date shall use the date the last update you don't need it uh, the company you don't need it the company text you don't need it <coughs> created by um, created by who you can put it there okay <coughs> store category the main category so shall take this to category text shall need it has stock subcategory we shall also need it maybe okay stock subcategory shall also need it and then financial uh, period when this was entered maybe we shall need it okay the cycle uh, then the product name we shall need it and then the description we shall need it the, the image we may need it we will need it the barcode mm, for now let's leave it but we shall come to that surely later sku shall need it uh generate sku that is back end we don't need it then update sk we don't need it gallery we can we can push and come we shall come for it later another day and then buying price we shall need it then selling price we shall need it and then original quantity we shall need it and then the current quantity we shall need it so those are the things that we're going to need so after doing so All right, so let's start displaying. So let's first arranging them how we need them. I uh, shall need the date first. I don't think in this case the date is required first. Let us put it down. I uh, shall need the item name, item name, and then its unique ID, and then uh, the category where it belongs, and then this financial period it can come last then the description can come last then the image i don't know how i'm going to put the image <coughs> the image you can put it on top okay then um buying price buying price selling price uh, original quantity current quantity those are the very important things and then these others will follow the date which was purchased purchase date will be here and then the category the financial period will come last all right so let's begin let us begin maybe with an image can okay, we begin an image so we can remove these other necessary things can remove this 
can remove those ones okay let's go ahead and put image uh image network image and then you do uh utils utils that got get image link with first day image yep i think that's beautiful <laughs> please leave it there and then we can center it maybe we can uh, give it some width okay come here and say size box okay i think the image can take width that's it the image can take width width and say a hundred yeah not a bang not the bang the width let me try to wrap it in size box hmm i don't know why it's not obeying let's go ahead and open it again okay it's not respecting the width let's leave it okay so we proceed uh that is uh, the image it's done uh we go to the item name item name no that image is too big i think need to still limit it let me try to give it height and then see yeah okay so maybe height of 200 by 200 that can be now 200 by 200 yes yeah, that can be good that can be good okay so uh we go to title item so we we'll begin with the with a name of this item let me remove this date formatter and just pass the name okay so that is the name of the product and then we go to sku it's unique id okay so unique id is going to be this sku uh-huh and then Eh, which kind of unique ID is this? <laughs> ah, 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 ah. Wait. Ah. <laughs> yeah. Alright. Alright. It doesn't make sense at all. Where did you keep the unique name or the unique ID of the product? Huh? Oh yeah. But anyway, we shall look into it. Maybe I manually did it. Eh, hey, I remember. I remember. I remember we said that it should not be automated. Eh? I remember we, should not, we said it should not be automated. That's why. That's why it is like that. Remember we, we did it manually. Let's try to add a product and see. Uh, for example, let's add some carrots. Let's add some carrot C. Carrot C. Carrot C. By cards. Download IMG. So it should be automated buying price uh, uh maybe three thousand per kilo selling price five thousand five hundred per kilo and then original quantity it is uh maybe 10 kilograms and then details sweet cards Then select an image, pick from gallery, and then upload. Hmm. I don't know why this ID is. Hmm? What is causing this problem? Property ID or null? Can you fix that right now? 
because it's embarrassing. So it should be in uh, stock item. Stock item. Yeah. In this create. Huh? Preparing. Let me see. ID. I think it is this one. Eh? ID. You see? It is this one. But you see here, financial period, if it is annual, I return. So, uh, where could that be coming from? If financial period is null, I return. Let's see. Let's see the API. My update. Let's see, we have the ID. Yeah. But at this level, the products will be created. So, object is going to save ah, like this. Hmm? This needs brainstorming, I'll work on it and then I give you the answer at once. But I don't know why this reading ideal null is becoming an issue. Mm. To object create is edit. This error cannot be null. The request cannot be null. Huh? But if you use get and the pass here, I do like this. But error is already not like this, yes, so. So, I don't know. They're not telling even the line where this is. Now, what if we try to submit using the API? Stock item create. To get it. Anyway, we shall find out. We shall figure out. I'll figure out. I'll try to find out is causing that. But if I remove image, submit, still it is failing. But if I generate the SKU by myself, ah, you now know the problem. So the problem is when an SKU is being generated by the system. Mm. SKU. This should be SKU. The problem should be here, somewhere here. Okay. So, if SK is null and SK is less than this, uh, then we generate the SKU. Okay, if it is not, and observe that SKU, then I saw here, generate SKU, we pass the company ID. Okay, company ID. I think the subcategory is not found. You see the problem? Instead of passing the subcategory, we are passing company ID. You see? So the subcategory is, you see? Instead of passing subcategory ID, we are passing, you see, we are passing the company ID. So this is the problem. So you are supposed to pass subcategory to generate the what? The SKU. Let me see if we are doing this in a many instances. I think this is the only place. Yeah. So that's the old error. So 
as opposed to pass uh, company ID. Okay, that means some category, not company ID. So that is the error. Let me regenerate here and then update. I was wondering, like, what is the problem? Uh, let's hope that is the problem. Let's go ahead and uh, do pull online. Okay, I think that is okay now. Let's try to first add some and this some image. SK, let me make it out and receive it to update. Let us try to create a new product. Auto. Then go ahead and submit. Mm. The error is still there. They pull in the right place anyway. Mm. I hope so. Let me try. So you go ahead here, yeah, find subcategory. Mm. Subcategory that ah, you see the problem. It's supposed to be stock subcategory, not subcategory. See, that was the issue. Man, 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 man. Let's go and pull. Submit. Yeah, everything is not. So let's see. You see, the SK is now making sense. The second product in, in that category, number six. Uh, yeah. It is making sense now. Oh my god. Ah, let's proceed, let's proceed, let's proceed, let us proceed. We come to the, back to the detail screen. The detail screen. So we finish SKU. We go ahead and display the buying price. Or maybe we can put here a divider. See that the after the identification of the product, I'll go to the product my buying price. So I'll go ahead and put here. Buying price.
let's just kind of put a money format Then put selling price. Mm -hmm. There will be some divider. I need some sized. Give height of five. Original quantity. So you can also put them. No have measuring unit here. The original quantity. We forgot to attach measuring unit. Okay, and then you have put current quantity or available quantity okay what else do you need to add there so I've added those selling price it's already there original quantity is already there current quant eh? current quantities are there okay so let's try to sell something can see to reduce how many sales sell something from these nice carrots sell uh, five pieces of them some details and then some meat So let's run the fresh. So if we come here now to products, this one you'll see. Let's refresh. Refresh to times. Original quant was ten. The current quant is that. All right, that makes sense. So since we sell five, similar to. We must have uh, some profit of 2k so let's fancy details here profit total loss 2500 yeah 500 times five yeah so uh, something like that it is making sense all right all right all right all right all right so we are here on products so i finished these basics displays uh what else do we need to display we need to display the date when it was created, purchase date. So the date was entered already there. The category, I don't think that is very important, but you can just display it. Uh, so let's just display here. Uh, category, product category, so we shall put here this text put this text and then put comma and put the subcategory if they'll be there so they are not there yet i've not attached them okay so those are the categories then the description you can put it in the bottom description can put the bottom mm. I'll remove this from date format okay and then maybe created by the media the name of person who created the product yep 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 that's it
okay and i think it makes sense much more sense so i can read some details about a product now let's go back and uh, do that and um, you can already details about a product now let's go back and uh, and put some filters here but if i want to filter and i see to see the if to see the the product in a certain category uh -huh. so let's go ahead and apply those filters i'm going to put the search and the filter all right so it shall come into actions let's go to actions let's go to our products our product items come in stock item screen stock items screen which is this one here and then you go to action i'm going to put the filter the sort just much more like the other one so i can go and borrow the same thing and come and add it here okay so let us go and borrow from stock records screen i'm going to come here and get this menu and then we make use of it we shall just remove the one which are not relevant put the menu there okay right so let's see what is not right here why is it crying okay it's supposed to be in actions okay yeah that's good that's good all right so let me go ahead and remove these that have warnings this bottom sheet you may not need it so uh filter by category we shall need it so let me import it mm -hmm. filter category we're going to add that variable let us just add it right now so I'll search this filter category variable. Let me just copy these four variables because we're going to need them. Just come and put them here on top of the end of init. Okay. Okay, so we have maybe here it's going to be sort by heart, sort by by current quantity by current quantity you need to know which quantities you have in stock mm -hmm. this is going to be picker we shall import it subcategory shall need that one uh also maybe the products that were entered in the certain financial period shall need it yeah so i think that's it yep so the else part maybe you can sort by sort by what by by what by entry date uh, id let's put here ID. let's first remove this we shall come back to it okay so i save now we have our thing there so let me extend it a little bit so I'll come here to our our actions and do some sized box and do width of five so it can be extended a little bit right so it goes to be here okay something like that so come and click there you have that drop down okay all well, right so i'm going to now put what i'm going now to put the filter I mean the search i mean let's go ahead and put the relevant filters so filter by date that is okay sort by date sort by date descending however i feel like this should be the last ones <laughs> okay sort by date ascending sort by date descending aha uh -huh. sort by total uh sales uh -huh. so it's going to be sort by what sort by current sort by current what by current 
current quantity so let's just put sort by quantity okay so sort by quantity okay descending and ascending filter by type huh? filter by type do we need this one i don't think we need it we don't need it mm -hmm. filter by category filter by subcategory filter by cycle all these are now valid all right so let's begin one by one now that we finish we put the full stop sort by type sort by by date i think that's okay that's number one so you come here at number one it will sort by id in ascending or descending order that is done uh -huh. so these two are done i uh have -huh. sort by by quantity sort by quantity uh so let's put here done let's see how it is that is number what number three so come to number three uh, number three, we sort by quantity, by current quantity. That is done. Aha, uh -huh. number four, let's make this one. Okay, we made it eight. Sort by quantity. Let's make it four. So they can do the same thing. So if it is three, so you come and do four and do the reverse of the other. Okay. So everything is fine there. Alright, so number five, filter by category. So we filter by category. Number five also. Yeah, we filter by category number five. Okay. Then number six, uh, number six, number six, filter by subcategory. Number six is this filter by subcategory. Then the last one, of course, the seven is filter by cycle. So let's go ahead and implement those ones now. You can just simply cop even this. This what? This because they have even more the same parameters. So let me come here to to what? To stock records and just copy their init. And our name nomenclature of the variables are almost the same. Copy that. Let's copy them these ones. And then come to this side. Where is my init? I just duplicate it and rectify where, where necessary. So it's going to be maybe total quantity that is available. Total quantity. All right, so we go ahead and check. So this is relevant. All these are okay. Apart from type, type we don't have it in this side. So we shall just begin from here. Here we are sorting by category, by subcategory, we are sorting by, by, by category. The naming are the same if the naming are okay. Uh, if your naming are not okay, then you have to modify one necessary. And here we sort by financial period. Uh -huh. So this one is just going to be stock item model. Uh -huh. So this one is going to be total quantity. Total quantity and just put here. Uh, current what? current quantities and that's it so we save everything is all right mm -hmm. then this uh, so let me come back here and i get that where i put the uh, total quantity and I, put, I want to put that thing also in the bottom side of the other side so i'll just come here this row i will copy it this one here i'm going to put the other side as total quantities so, so I'll come to I'll come to what I'll come to our list view and then surround it with what with a column and then I surround it with what with expanded okay and then come below this column and surround it with what I mean put that so this one is going to be Import the primary and then here it's going to be the total total input total quantity like this 
okay so we proceed uh we go ahead and see this expanded needs child expanded needs child and this child should be okay how did we do it here <laughs> uh, let's just put column here and then we be here some content and put expand it. I think that makes sense. Huh? No, 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 Column. Then list list is one that you can sound with what? We'll expand it like this. Then next this expanded, we should have our total cells. So like this. So we go to the other floating thing. Floating and remove it. <laughs> and remove it and then we go to our actions and then add here a button so that's our button for adding new stock item so you can see it there it's an icon button so let's increase its size. Okay, so that is okay. So that is okay for the pressure. You see the two quantities. Okay, so maybe here yeah, we shall need to work on the display. For example, here, instead of showing this edit button, so just put the current quantity. That's the current quantity units. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think that's 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 nice. I think that's nice, and we can leave this one at that level. All right. So you can filter by this. Can't see that. We filter by that category. Uh huh. So maybe we need just to display the filter text. And just come and copy this one here on top of it. So on top of it, we have this text that checks. Let me do the same. And then we call it a day. Oh, there's no error. Yeah, filter by that. Ah. It is not resetting and make sure that always reset it ah, like this category that category that so yeah that is what we have managed to achieve uh so the next lecture we shall now do this finishing but at this point i think we're in good position products can be added everything can be worked upon and now in the next other lectures we shall do now the mastering of finishing these remaining parts which are almost straightforward because they're not part of uh, much part of the management all right we meet in the next lecture and have a nice day goodbye